we doing? We're going to the pier to watch the waves, pick up Bob, and have coffee. In that order? Yeah. What's up, Bob? <laughs> hey, we're both wearing the same uniform. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. <laughs> about 4 30 in the afternoon uh, i'm in the hyundai this is the last day for this car let me give you guys a little bit of information on it uh, a bit later but right now i'm headed to the peterson museum i'm going to be meeting up with my friend greg gill kind of a mixer kind of a group getting together talking cars lots of professionals lots of designers things like that i'm going to get a chance to show you guys some of the new cars they have on display they always got something cool but it's going to take about an hour to get there so let's just put it on fast forward shall we
Anderson and uh, Greg and Mark are here. They're doing a uh, little VR thing right now. It's enough to make you sick, but it's cool. How you doing, Greg? Um, where are you over here? I can't see anything but what's inside. We're leaving Except the Peterson. Us. There's only three people in the lobby. It's just us. We have the whole place to ourselves. Should we go grab the lowrider? Yeah, let's get them all. Let's yeah, get them all. The low one for each of us. I know there's cameras everywhere, so there's people watching us right now. That's for sure. But this is pretty cool. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of a creepy abandoned Peterson museum. It's like being a kid being trapped in a in a kiddie store like overnight. Like you know those <laughs> movies, like you're trapped in the store overnight. Yes. A toy us or something. Yeah. I'll take any one of these. Any one, thank you very much. No, I think that's a little bit What's up guys? Kind of dark. Much better. Just had a car swap. The Hyundai has just left and a brand new car has shown up. But don't worry, we're going to be talking about the Hyundai a little bit later in the vlog. But the new car that just showed up and that we're going to take up into town, we got two things to do. We got to go get some food and then we got to go over to Cafe Lux. Got a meeting there. That's going to be cool. But the car itself, the 2017 Mazda RF. RF stands for really fast. It's a really fast package. It comes with Brembo brakes, a bunch of other stuff. I don't, I don't think it stands for really fast. We gotta go shopping. We'll be right back. What are we getting? I don't know. Like everything. Oh well, yeah, we kind of need everything, but since we opted to buy the car that can't fit everything. Maybe three bags. Yeah. Four at the most. Probably just get what's on my list. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna read it because I can't read it. We spelled everything right. It's a really small car. I think maybe four bags, maybe three. All right, it's officially four bags, but don't put any bags on top of the chips. Kathy got an ice cream. It's not ice cream. What is it? Cashew milk. Salted caramel mm -hmm. cashew milk. Mm. It's awesome. The chocolate's real. shoot by meeting with Gary Chow who is head of Cafe Lux. It was kind of a uh, kind of a brainstorm session for a, a cool idea. We got an idea for some kind of 
event percolating. It's going to be fantastic. And Kathy, in the middle of our discussion, went back to the beach. So I'm going to join her there right now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was cool. Dude, that's a lot of trash cans. Holy crap. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah. Let's talk Hyundai for a second. Let's talk Hyundai Ionic electric car. Now we had we had the hybrid version back a little while ago, a few weeks back, and now we got the electric version. Which one's better? Well, it all depends on your lifestyle. It all depends on you know how far do you have to drive? How are you used to having an electric car? Have you ever had one before? This one gets a 150 mile charge, although it didn't, I, I charged it, but I had a 110 outlet in the garage and it didn't fully charge over about a 24 hour period. But with a full charge, 150 miles, that's pretty cool. Most electric cars are around the high 30s, 40 range. Uh, you know, Tesla's even way up there. This one, the Hyundai, 36. 36 grand for a, for a full on electric car. That's not too bad. It's worth the price when you're saving the environment. 25 kilowatts per 100 miles. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, this makes sense to you, right? No, not really. An electric car is pretty cool. It comes in a variety of colors. Check out these photos. Uh, the car looks pretty slick, pretty decent. It's comparable to the Prius and, and to the uh, the once and final Honda Insight. It's just cool. It's just cool to have an electric car. I mean, that's, that's just kind of, it's the way things are going and ultimately they're all going to be electric cars. Had the car for a week, uh, very, very comfortable. You know, all the ergonomics are great. Everything kind of falls in line. Once again, Hyundai isn't necessarily the, the highest point as, as far as design language goes, but a solid car, a solid car. I would recommend it to anybody. But it's been swapped, people. It's been swapped for the, the Mazda RF. 2017 Mazda MX-5 RF, two-seat roadster. The top, top goes down, you know, convert, you know, sun, all that kind of stuff. Pretty awesome. I'm not gonna kind of spill the beans on that yet. We got uh, seven days or so to be able to drive that car. Got a few car shows I'm gonna be doing this weekend, especially the the the, the top secret Malibu car show. You know, the one that, that I'm not allowed to talk about and I can't tell you where it is, although pretty much everyone knows where it is. But you're not gonna hear from me. Nope, not gonna hear from me north. I can tell you that. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Check this out. Slick, slick all the way, man. All the way.